Fans have taken to social media to defend Lana Del Rey and her new look. In addition to going blonde, photos of which have been shared to the Instagram page of a salon, trolls are coming for Lana's weight gain. And they aren't holding back. I got the tea and I'm gonna guzzle it here for you on IO. What's gravy fam? This is Inform Overload. I'm Charlotte Del Rey. I have a stain on my dress. On this channel, we tell you about trending topics. Subscribe for the spiciest trending news updates on YouTube and follow the IO team on Instagram. Stop looking at my stain! A photo of Lana Del Rey was posted to the account of a hair salon that changed her brunette locks to blonde. The original tweet actually ended up being deleted, likely because of how badly it was being trolled. Within minutes of the post going up, trolls left comments saying things like, square face, lose some weight, go to the gym. People were also taking issue with Lana dyeing her hair blonde and compared her to a Karen. Other photos of her taken by paparazzi show that Lana has experienced a weight gain. Like honestly though, like most of us have. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I'm walking significantly less since the pandemic started. Lana Del Rey's weight gain was even discussed on Joe Rogan's podcast when Abigail Schreier was a guest. One of the first comments on the post was, you look fat. Schreier said on the podcast that quote, so young girls see that and they think they don't have a chance. This is one of the most streamed female recording artists ever, right? Beautiful woman, you look fat as the first comment. Fans started the hashtag we love you Lana on social media to show their support for the singer songwriter who has also just released an audiobook of poetry. Cause you know, a woman's worth isn't only based on what she looks like, what color hair she has, or what size jeans she wears. Here are a few of the responses. I'm not going to share any of the negative responses. It's, you guys know what it is already. I feel like let's focus on the positive. Body shaming isn't funny. She's a human just like all of you bullies. She's gorgeous and she always has been. We love you Lana. This woman helped me a lot in my life. One of the best lyricists, amazing singer, performer, light of my life, and simply queen of alternative. We love you, Lana. Lana doesn't deserve even a hint of all the hate she's taking. Whoever criticizes doesn't know even a third of her career and how she is an incredible human being. Besides that, each passing day, this woman gets more beautiful. We love you, Lana. F them. Unfortunately, COVID has left many of us without our normal ways of exercising. Can't go to the gym yet in many places. I do miss it a lot. Four to five months without a gym, being stuck at home, limiting your contact with the outside, you're going to gain weight. I mean, if you haven't gained weight, then I commend you, but I gained weight for sure. I had to buy a bike just to, just to get rid of some of it, you know? But that's my personal choice. I chose to want to do that. That's just how it works. We also aren't walking as much as we normally would, especially at the beginning of the pandemic. Most of us were either working from home or out of work. And with the case of Lana Del Rey and other performers, when there's no upcoming performances, appearances, or music videos to film, there's no pressure to work out because, I mean, you're just not being seen. Listen, we've all probably put on a few pounds, most of us at least, but we all need to be a little less judgmental about others who have put on a few pounds. Why are we surprised that anyone has put on weight at this point? As long as they're eating healthy, health should be the number one priority for people right now. I mean, good health is what's going to save you from getting COVID. So furthermore, can we stop reducing people, women especially, to being nothing more than a pant size? Can we instead focus on how Lana spent her time in quarantine working on a book? I've criticized Lana and stuff she said in the past, but criticizing someone over their appearance is never something I will be okay with. Why don't you tell me thoughts on this one down in the comments? For now, I'm going to quickly wrap up this video with some common features and then I'm going to go dry my stain. Ashley M said, aren't you a reporter? Why are you sharing your option? I think you mean my opinion. Guys, this is YouTube. It's not CNN. YouTubers are more like commentators. They share their opinion. We as hosts are told to make our videos longer. Watch time is valued on YouTube. There are only so many facts to share. If I didn't include my opinion and I didn't have jokes in there, the videos would be like one minute long. In fact, nowadays you will find very little news outlets out there that are unbiased. Even a tone of someone's voice can show bias. So if you don't want to hear my opinion or anyone else's opinion, I would encourage you to get your news from a written source. If you do want to hear my opinion, which I think most of you do, stick around. The Luxurious said, thank you Inform Overload, you inspired us to start our YouTube journey. Yes! Don't look at it. I'm excited for you. Keep on going. Keep going. Just keep posting. Nish and Tish said, I love the premiere part. It was nice to chat live with the IO hosts. Thank you to everyone who hung out with us in the chat. Patats in the chat. We are going to try to do a premiere once a week for you guys on Thursdays, likely at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you miss this week's premiere, there will be other chances. Love you all and have a wonderful weekend. That's it for me. Don't look at my stain. Don't look at it. Air out. Get out of there. Like it's dark though, eh? Like I no, I wash my hands because I'm a good little potato for 20 seconds or 30 seconds and now I won't go away. Maybe we could have the, the uh, well, I mean. I'm doing, I don't give a shit.
I'm doing you guys a favor by covering it. It's because I know all of you are like, oh, I'm so distracted by the stain. I'm so distracted by her earrings. Oh, I'm so distracted. Lana Del Way's weight. Lana Del Way. 